contamination, cross-contamination, and its sources in pharmaceutical. Greetings from Everyday GMP, I am your presenter from Everyday GMP. Everyday GMP is a training and solutions provider, aimed to provide solutions to your problems and enrich the soft and technical skills of professional individuals and organizations to meet all criteria required in the life science industry, pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, cosmeceuticals, and related academia. Today we will discuss dot, contamination, cross-contamination and its sources in pharmaceutical. Before we start, please subscribe to get more informative videos. So, let's start. So we will discuss it today. Introduction. A pharmaceutical facility. Contamination and its sources cross-contamination and its sources. Conclusion. Introduction. Preventing contamination and cross-contamination is of utmost importance in pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities, as these can compromise the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. Contamination can occur in various forms, such as microbial, chemical, and physical, and can arise from various sources, including personnel, equipment, and raw materials. Cross-contamination, on the other hand, occurs when one product or material comes into contact with another, resulting in unintended contamination. Introduction. The implementation of good manufacturing practices, GMPs, and strict adherence to guidelines for facility design, personnel practices, cleaning and sanitization, material handling and storage, and quality control can help prevent contamination and cross-contamination, ensuring the production of safe and effective pharmaceutical products. A pharmaceutical facility. A pharmaceutical facility is a location where drugs are manufactured, processed, packaged, labeled, stored, or distributed. It must comply with regulatory requirements, including good manufacturing practice (GMP) regulations. The facility must be designed, constructed, and maintained to prevent errors and contamination, and staffed with trained personnel. Shared pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities Shared pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities are facilities that are designed to be used by multiple pharmaceutical companies to manufacture their products. Instead of building separate manufacturing facilities, companies can share the same facilities and equipment to produce their drugs. Contamination. Contamination is defined as the presence of any harmful or unwanted substances in a pharmaceutical product, which may render it unsafe or ineffective for use. The presence of contaminants can occur during any stage of the manufacturing process, including processing, packaging, and storage. The pharmaceutical industry considers contamination to be a serious issue, and therefore, takes every necessary step to prevent it from occurring. Types of contamination, microbial, chemical, physical. Contamination in the pharmaceutical industry can take many forms, including microbial, chemical, and physical. Microbial contamination involves the presence of microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi, which can cause infections and other adverse effects. Chemical contamination occurs when foreign chemicals, such as solvents or heavy metals, are present in the product. Physical contamination involves the presence of extraneous materials, such as glass, metal, or plastic particles, which can cause harm if ingested. The sources of contamination in pharmaceutical manufacturing can be numerous. Contaminants may come from raw materials, air, water, equipment, personnel, or the manufacturing environment. The sources of contamination. Raw materials can be contaminated with microorganisms or chemicals during harvesting, transportation, or storage. Air and water can contain microorganisms and other impurities that can cause contamination. Equipment can become contaminated due to inadequate cleaning or maintenance, while personnel can introduce contaminants through poor hygiene practices. The manufacturing environment can also contribute to contamination, as it may contain particles, microorganisms, or chemicals. Preventing contamination In conclusion, preventing contamination is a critical aspect of pharmaceutical manufacturing. The pharmaceutical industry must take every necessary step to prevent contamination from occurring by implementing the following. CGMP, adhering to strict guidelines for facility design, personnel practices, cleaning and sanitization, material handling and storage, quality control. This will ensure the production of safe and effective pharmaceutical products. Cross-contamination. Types of cross-contamination, one is direct and other is indirect. 
Cross-contamination is the transfer of harmful substances or microorganisms from one product, surface, or material to another, resulting in unintended contamination. In the pharmaceutical industry, cross-contamination is a serious concern, as it can result in the contamination of finished products, leading to health risks and product recalls. There are two types of cross-contamination, direct and indirect. Direct cross-contamination occurs when one product or material comes into direct contact with another, resulting in the transfer of harmful substances or microorganisms. Indirect cross-contamination occurs when the transfer of harmful substances or microorganisms occurs via an intermediate source, such as air, water, or personnel. This can happen. Sources of cross-contamination There are several sources of cross-contamination in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Raw materials can be a source of cross-contamination if they are not properly segregated or stored. Equipment can also be a source of cross-contamination if it is not properly cleaned and maintained. Personnel The manufacturing environment Sources of cross-contamination Personnel can be a source of cross-contamination if they are not properly trained and educated on proper hygiene practices. The manufacturing environment can also be a source of cross-contamination if it is not properly designed and maintained to prevent the transfer of contaminants. Preventing cross-contamination In conclusion, cross-contamination is a significant risk in pharmaceutical manufacturing, and steps must be taken to prevent it from occurring. This includes implementing GMP, designing facilities, equipment to prevent cross-contamination, providing proper training and education to personnel, enforcing strict cleaning and sanitization procedures. By taking these steps, the pharmaceutical industry can ensure the production of safe and effective products. In the last, we will conclude that preventing contamination and cross-contamination in pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities is crucial to ensure the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. Key points to consider include contamination can occur in various forms, including microbial, chemical, and physical contamination. Cross-contamination can occur directly or indirectly and can be a significant concern in shared facilities. Quality control measures, including in process and final product testing and environmental monitoring, are essential to ensure product safety and efficacy. By implementing and enforcing these key points, pharmaceutical manufacturers can prevent contamination and cross-contamination and ensure the safety and efficacy of their products. The full training courses are available on demand for on-site, online, and hybrid forms. We offer a variety of training packages in a range of subject areas and can offer blended learning opportunities to best meet your needs. If you would like a consultation to see how we can assist you with issues in your organization, please contact us. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Contact plus 9231125384455 email Info at everydaygmp.com website www.everydaygmp.com